For practice it, exercise 1.7 mantra, we are asked to write a complete Java program in a class named mantra that produces the following output. Remove its redundancy by adding a method. So we are giving output right here and we have it duplicated. So this first set of output is the same thing as this output right here. So what we can do is call a method twice instead of having to print it twice. We're going to make a public class mantra as it asks us to. We have our starting brace and our closing brace here. We need a main method, so we're going to have public static void main parentheses string args. And that's just the syntax for a main method. In our main method, we are going to have our method call. We can just call this uh, duplicates like this no parameters and a semicolon to finish it off. So that's what that should look like. Now we will go below our main method and below our main method, we will have our actual method. So this will be public. Um, this will be the method that it's calling public static void duplicates and then parentheses like that. So that will be our method. And in here, we are just going to write the code. So we have system dot out dot print ln with our parentheses and um, quotation marks in here. What we can do is really just copy all of this and paste it into here. And then keep this on one line um, and just do a slash n in here. And that will have all of this on the same line. And since this is all on the same line, once we call it once, it should output. Um, oh, we actually need to have it output twice. So we need to also have a space in front of it. So we're going to have a system dot out dot print ln like this because there is a space in between the two outputs. If we write our duplicates like this and submit it, then it should work properly like this. What this is doing is it's basically we have a class, we have our main method, and we have our method being called twice here with a space in the middle. So that way it'll look just like this output. And what we did in our method is did a system.out.print line statement that had all of the output that was right, that it asked us to write in here inside of our method. It would be cleaner if we wrote this on a separate line. So instead of having all of this code on one line, we can take this and get rid of all of this code right here and have um, this on one line. And then on the next line, have our next set of code. So we have system.out.println and then we will have this code right here. So we are writing it on separate lines just like we did last time, except we are not using the slash n. And if we do this, it will work just the same. So either or works. I prefer this method because you can actually see what you're typing, especially if you have a smaller screen.